The impact of the recession has been especially felt by national brands. Tim Simmons, host of PLMA's live monthly interview series, got some indication of the extent of that impact from Diane Bruton, Senior Vice President of Decision Analyst in Arlington, Texas, which recently issued a headline-making study. Diane, welcome to PLMA Live. What does your consumer polling data show about how the recession is affecting shopper loyalty to brands? Consumer loyalty to name brands has gone down. And there is a core of people um, and, uh, that we call the brand loyalist, and they make about 20% of the U.S. population. And what we've seen over time is that there are two different things that define a brand loyalist. One is that I will always buy brand names, no matter what, and I will always pay more for brand names. And what we've seen is a decline in that, and, and in particular, a steep decline with the, the low point of the recession. So, the, so what we're seeing is brand loyalty eroding for name brands, and then a, uh, consumers embracing store brands more. Is this decline in consumer loyalty to the big brands mostly a price issue? We believe that it is a price issue to a degree, but the other thing that we're seeing is that consumers have now tried store brands. And maybe they were so loyal to the, to the name brands that they had never ventured outside of their, uh, got outside the box, if you will. Then what they've done is they've tried the store brands and actually have found that the quality is as good as, as name brands. So one of the major insights of our study is that we're seeing a continual increase in the people who believe that store brands are indeed as good as, as name brands. Diane? What do you think is going to happen to brand loyalty once the economy starts to improve? So what we believe will happen is that some of these brand name loyalists will go back, as a segment will go back. It, it always feels good to go back to where you were. Mm -hmm. and, and, when, and when the recovery comes back, then you can kind of go back home. But we do believe there is a segment who has said, wow, I've tried store brands, I've tried private label, and this is actually pretty good. And so there's a psychological benefit as well of, of being able to save money, have a quality product, and to be able to take care of your family within your budget. Diane, thanks for telling us about your company's research and to what consumers are thinking today. Thank you so much, Tim. Now, the full interview with Diane Bruton will be featured on PLMA Live this month, so stay tuned. Now, judging by what Nielsen Roper and Decision Analyst are saying, it seems that store brands have made important gains in consumer thinking and buying behavior. And Brian, I think you have something to say about that. Uh, retailers have been paying attention to quality and assortment for the past 15 years or more. Uh, so a good deal of what we're seeing by way of success of store brands is the accumulation of the attention retailers have given. Mm -hmm. uh, packaging is much better, quality is much better, product concepts are much more innovative. So to that extent, the recession has accelerated interest and has focused attention. Uh, but in fact, this is based upon many years of very diligent merchandising and marketing by the retailers. So you think private label is really coming into its own now? I think private label uh, is building on a base of several years of uh, expansion and improvement. And that $6 billion you talked about earlier is a wonderful jump start. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank I you so much, Brian. In part two of this series, we're going to look at what retailers have been doing as a result of the recession, which strategies work, which strategies don't. So join us for that, and thank you for joining us now. Bye-bye.